finishing first without following the rules of the contest does not make a contestant the winner. The end does not justify the means, except in a culture of corruption and impunity. Special greetings to you all around the globe and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice, a fearless media platform where we hold leaders accountable for their failures. And we are also your trusted source for breaking news in business, politics, current affairs, opinions, analysis, and headlines with a comprehensive up-to-date news coverage aggregated from sources all over the world and every corner of the globe. We are the world's leading Libra voice to the everyday people. We say thank you all for staying tuned. But before I go further, if this is your first time of coming across this channel, be so kind to like our channel, subscribe, and press the notification bell so that you will be among the first people to get our news as we break them. Once again, I say thank you all for tuning in. The federal government says the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the last general elections, Peter Obi, has set a new global record by being the first ever distant third place finisher to lay claims to victory. Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, who stated this in a statement on Sunday in Abuja, called on Obi and Atiku Abubaka of the People's Democratic Party to stop shedding tears over the outcome of the polls, which he claimed they lost woefully to Bola Tinubu of the ruling of Progressive Congress. The opposition Labour Party, in particular, will go down in the history books as the first ever distant third place finisher in the presidential election anywhere to have both fiercely claimed victory. The minister said in the statement issued by his special assistant on media, Shegun Adeyemi, he said, Mr. President's analysis on the reasons for the opposition laws in the 2023 election was incontrovertible. President Buhari deserved nothing but accolades for delivering undoubtedly the best election in Nigeria's history, adding that the tempestuous but predictable reaction of the president's comments by the opposition has shown them for what they are. Shameless saw losers, he said. President Muhammad Buhari lived up by his billing by delivering a free, fair and credible election, and his legacy is assured. The president would rather lose his state and many of his party's stronghold than tamper with the fidelity of the elections, and that is why he provided a level playing field for all parties, Lai Mohammed added. He, however, stressed that the opposition's overconfidence going into the election stemmed in part from the blitzkrieg of social media propaganda, as well as faulty and procured opinion polls, which were apparently meant to hoodwink their foreign backers and a section of the international media into uncritical reporting that they were coasting home to victory when they were indeed heading into the ravine of defeat. The minister further said that Tidabu won the presidential election fair and square 
clinching the majority of the vote cast and surpassing the constitutionally stipulated 25% of vote cast in each of at least two third of all the states in the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. Going by the results, none of the opposition parties met any of the conditions stipulated for winning the presidential election. They didn't even come close in spite of their pre-election grandstanding. They keep leaning on some international observers to justify their fraudulent claim that the election was rigged. Continuing, Lai Mohammed said they conveniently forgot what Ambassador Johnny Carson, the revered U.S. diplomat who co-led the National Democratic Institution and International Republican Institute International Election Observer Mission to Nigeria, said that the APC candidate undoubtedly won the polls. He said they also forgot that the African Union Election Observation Mission to Nigeria said the atmosphere was generally calm and peaceful in 95% of the polling unit visited. He said, adding that it is on the strength of these reports that many nations, including the US and the UK, wasted no time in congratulating the victorious APC presidential candidate. Reacting to the issue of IRF Potter, Lai Mohammed slammed the opposition for continuously seeking to mislead the world by clutching at the weak straws that results were not immediately uploaded onto the Potter as if it has any role to play in the collation of results. Hmm. Hmm. Lai Mohammed. He said the opposition's insinuation that the failure to immediately upload the results of the presidential election into the IRF affected the credibility of the election is a fraud. It's an act of blackmail and deceit by desperate individuals. Our correspondent reports that both Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar are separately challenging the outcome of the presidential election that produced Tinubu as a winner. My country people, those were the words that Alaji Lai Mohammed, the lie machine of Nigeria, has said. But my country people, when I go imagine, say, if this man, in fact, I don't want to talk. Look at all what this man said. Everything a lie. Everything lie. But I'm not going to make any comment right now. Because I want to make on our comments by on herself. Our comment session they open. Make we hear on our comments. I want to know the people where we say, what did this man talk? It get make any sense to any 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 meaningful Nigeria. So what did this man don't talk for here? So I so the uh, the two way the election where they hold just as so is they credible to this man? Well, God go God go judge everybody at their own time. I go see you now for my next video. Make I not waste on time too much. I say goodbye and thank you for being here.